the Bucyrus City School District, Superintendent Bob Britton. Hello, Bob. Hi, Randy. Thanks for having me in today. I appreciate <laughs> well, that. You. So getting used to calling you uh, Bucyrus, you know, I've known you so far for originally <laughs> years, you know, many years doing that. So Yes, I was there yeah. for quite a bit, quite, yeah. a, quite a long time. So, but I'll tell you what, it's been great. It's been a great move. Mm -hmm. I've been really enjoyed uh, so far the first, you know, four or five months of my yeah, tenure right. here. And, you know, thankfully I've been hired to, you know, move forward for three mm -hmm. more years. Mm -hmm. And the contract was signed in October. So, you know, it's trying to make this home. You know, yeah, it's right. starting to feel really, really good right now. Good, good. Yeah, so the first year's going all right then. Yes, right? absolutely. Yeah. Yep. So we're just starting the second half of the first year, right? Yeah, we, today was the first day of the second semester. Mm -hmm. uh, first semester went really, really well. Um, you know, we saw some things, you know, with our students who have, uh, you know, success and achievement has increased a little bit for them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're working hard to continue that success. One of the uh, initiatives we're putting into place is, uh, which is in our one needs assessment with the state of Ohio um, is to increase our performance index and increase our test scores mm -hmm. by 10% over the next three years, 10% each year over the next three years. Um, you know, we get a 30% increase in those scores and an improvement by our students. Um, you know, you'll see a tremendous change uh, in atmosphere within the district, yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah. wow. So good. I'm glad that's going well. You guys are in uh, winter sports season right now, right? Yes, absolutely. Uh, girls had a big win last Friday mm -hmm. night against Colonel Crawford. Um, you know, they, it's their second league win, the first uh, league wins we've had in three years. Mm -hmm. um, coaching staff's doing a great job. Uh, boys basketball team continues to play really, really hard. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, it's one of those things. We're playing a bunch of first-year varsity players against some seasoned veteran teams. And, you know, we're seeing improvement every week. Uh, the kids are working hard at it and doing a great job. Um, our bowling teams are in second in the mm -hmm. NOBL, Northern Ohio Bowling League. Uh, both boys and girls. That's good. Uh, yeah, yeah Bowling, bowling's really taken off, hasn't it? No, it has. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I talked to uh, Coach Capel the other mm -hmm. day. Um, she said four years ago she had 12 kids, yeah. um, 12 boys and like five girls, seven girls, something like that. Um, this year we have almost 40 kids on the bowling team, That's boys great. and girls together. So we have a boys varsity, girls varsity, a girls JV, and, a, and two boys JV teams. Wow. So, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, really, it's really taken off. And then our wrestling program is doing very mm -hmm. well. Coach Copel Sparger. Um, had the uh, Cyrus Invitational here not long ago. Uh, tremendous success. I'd like to thank all the volunteers and people who came out to help with that uh, uh, tournament. Mm -hmm. it, it was They did a great job. Um, and, and we always get a lot of positive feedback from the schools that come in that day for the wrestling tournament. Mm -hmm. So things are going very well. Very well. Be, won't be long before spring sports are here, right? No, that's right. <laughs> it's just yeah. around the corner. Softball, baseball, yeah. track, yeah. Yeah, yeah pretty soon. I, I, at the end of the month, um, beginning of February, I should say, is when the st uh, state tournament draws will be for mm -hmm. boys and girls basketball and, and wrestling. Yeah, right. Yeah. So those things are moving right on down the road. Um, we're, we're fortunate enough at Bucyrus to be hosting a sectional girls tournament this year. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we didn't get a district tournament, which was... You know, a little disappointing, but that's okay, you know. Mm -hmm. right. uh, but we will have a uh, sectional tournament hosted at Division II uh, in our in our gymnasium. Well, good, good, wow. Yeah. Uh, anything else you want to, any other changes coming up here? Well, one of the things, another thing mm -hmm. we're working on, another initiative we have is, is an engagement piece. Okay. Um, and not so much with the family engagement. We always try to work to engage our families in the education of our youth. Uh, but what we're trying to do is engage our student body um, to become more active in our extracurricular activities. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean just sports. You know, uh, we're talking um, you know, student council, you know, or any of the mm -hmm. clubs that we would happen mm -hmm. to have. A uh, couple things we're looking at possibly bringing back to help that engagement piece. Uh, we're talking about bringing back some STEM or STEAM programming, mm -hmm. right. uh, science, technology, education, arts, and math. Uh, trying to bring some um, robotics back. I know the robotics programming here several years ago that uh, somehow was – I don't know if it was cut, if it was lost, or what mm -hmm. happened, funding was gone. Uh, we're trying to bring that back. Oh, cool. uh, we're looking at possibly bringing in some eSports activities for mm -hmm. our kids. Um, eSports is one of the fastest growing activities mm -hmm. in the state of Ohio. Uh, we're looking at, uh, you know, the OHSAA is starting to recognize eSports. Oh, wow, yeah. Colleges yeah. are beginning to give scholarships. Then Ohio State just built a whole eSports facility. Absolutely, yeah, they did, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, I know when I was visiting with the Mid-Ohio Educational Service mm -hmm. Center, uh, they have a big eSports complex oh, within their uh -huh. uh, building over there. And I, I would like to see, you know, what it would take to possibly bring some of those mm -hmm. opportunities in for our students. Sure. Um, you know, and by doing that, we're, we're going to, reward the kids for being active, for being engaged, for mm -hmm. doing things 
you know, outside of the school day to make them feel more a part of this Bucyrus community and more a part of the Bucyrus school, City School District. Because there's some kids that aren't athletic and they aren't, you know, there's, there's you know, this gives other kids uh, places to plug in. Oh, know? absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Our band and choir yeah. programs yeah. are fantastic. Sure. Um, the art program, wonderful art club. Uh, we had an art show in the fall. Um, I know we have another one coming up here relatively soon. So um, we're really looking forward to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, um, uh, increasing engagement for our student body. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're all right. <coughs> oh, there you go. You got something stuck in there. Sorry about yeah. that. Yeah, I hate that when that happens. But yep. uh, <laughs> but, uh, so uh, when is, uh, of course, we're, we're, we're probably, it's probably part of the year that probably goes pretty fast with, with everything coming up. You got <coughs> spring break coming up, you got prom coming up, graduation. Oh, I mean, once, that, yeah. once you get to the end of the third nine weeks, this third nine weeks goes from today through the middle of March. Yeah. Uh, that kind of gets to be a little tedious because there's not a lot of time off for kids, and you're getting ready for testing, and you get through March. You know, April begins your testing period. So April 1 through May 27 or whatever day our last day of school is, it is it's pretty much a whirlwind. It's mm -hmm. a blur. Um, you have track and field. You have your baseball, softball. Um, a lot of those games will get rained out, rescheduled. Mm -hmm. Your athletic director will be under a lot of, I don't want to say pressure, but yeah, yeah. you know a lot of extra work. Um you have your awards assemblies, you know, for the choir, your band, uh, your baccalaureate ceremony, your graduation, prom. I mean, it, it just, it's one mm -hmm. after another, uh, especially when you get to May. That, right. That's when it really you know, kind of ramps up. And, you know, your, your end of the school year activities for your elementary kids and your junior high kids as well. So, but it, it, it's always fun. Mm -hmm. uh, by the time you're done with May, it's kind of like you look back and go, man, where'd that month where'd go? That? <laughs> <laughs> we just started that. When is the last day of school this year? Uh, you know what? Or off the top of my head, I can't yeah. tell you that. Um, it is, I believe, the Wednesday before Memorial Day. Okay. Um, we will be out of school for Memorial Day weekend. Graduation will be that Friday evening before Memorial Day. Okay. Um, we'll have it out at the stadium. We're planning on having it at the stadium, weather permitting. Um, so that's the, you know that's where we're headed right now. Does uh, Cyrus City Schools have social media and all that, and website and all that? Um, we have a Facebook page mm -hmm. that our board president Randy Blankenship you know mm -hmm. handles. Uh, we really don't have anything in house right mm -hmm. now. Uh, this again, something else that we're going to take a look mm -hmm. at. We do daily announcements with our students, mm -hmm. but it's all contained within the building. Okay. Uh, we really don't do anything outside of that. Um, one of the things that we, as we move forward, you know, being an interim here for you know first three months, you know, a lot of the things I had in my head, you really couldn't start committing to mm -hmm. until you have uh, that additional those additional years on a contract. Right. Um, so right now we're looking at you know the possibility of allowing some of our students to control. Mm -hmm. our, under supervision, of course, <laughs> right, sure, right. Uh, you know, maybe a Twitter account, a Facebook page, mm -hmm. um, that are uh, strictly just all Bucyrus information. Right. Um, and you won't, have, you won't have the opportunity to respond to it or to comment on things that are posted. It'll just be an informational piece, yeah. and that's what you'll be able to see. All right, Bob, it's great to hear all the nice things happening at Bucyrus City Schools. Yeah, we're excited. Out, yeah. We're excited to continue to move forward. And congratulations sure. on your new contract. Hey, thank yeah. you very much. I appreciate that, Randy. Thank right. you. Thank you, Bob. Yep.